What is account hierarchy into Tango? Account hierarchy into Tango establishes the relationships between accounts, subaccounts, or products and represents how your customer success team views and engages with your customers. Hierarchy into Tango does not need to reflect your current environment or establish the same functionality that you have within your current tools. We want to build and design the platform to alert and enable your team to address your customers proactively and to set up rules and alerts that can deliver value. Most of our customers fall into one of four models. Flat, which you see here, uh, meaning that uh, one level of all customer accounts. Two levels of accounts where you have customers and then products or customers and sub accounts. Three levels, which is customers, regions, LOBs, subsidiaries, and then products. And then fourth levels, which is main account, sub account, product family, and then a product level. This is a very advanced structure. Of these, the majority of customers fall within the flat or the two level hierarchy. When you think about hierarchy into Tango, think of every level you define as a requirement and overhead for training and management. Thus, each level in the hierarchy should have a purpose beyond being just informational, whether it is this is the level where we engage with the executives, or this is the level where we engage for renewals, or this is the level where we the usage will be recorded. Best practice is to ensure that each level of your hierarchy serves a functional purpose. Remember that you also have data collections to use if you want to have more available information on the account without creating a leveling in your hierarchy. For example, some good uses, use cases for collections are orders, opportunities, contracts, support tickets. These are items where it is a good to give your customer success team visibility into the data, but they may ha not take specific action on each item. In the near future, you will be able to trigger tasks as a result of that data. Now we will talk a little bit about how to create hierarchy within your data. There is one required attribute to establish hierarchical relationships between account records, which is parent ID. Creating an account and subaccount relationship, which we'll now refer to as a parent-child relationship in Tango, is very easy and straightforward. You already know that every account record requires a unique account ID, and that ID is entered into the account ID attribute in Tango. In order to create a child relationship, say, simply take the account ID from the parent account and input it as the value of the parent ID attribute on the child count. They will be automatically linked within Tango. Let me show you an example. Here is GlaxoSmithKline, the sub-account of GlaxoSmithKline. Its parent ID is GSK underscore main, uh, which you can see right here. And if we look at the account ID of GlaxoSmithKline Unlimited, which is the parent account, we will see that GSK main now populates into the URL. That's the account identifier. You can also find that in the information section down below for the account ID. As long as you follow the simple rule, you can build as many hierarchy levels as you want. Also, you do not need to maintain the same hierarchy throughout. You might have some accounts that only have, have only one child and others that have multiple levels of child accounts. Also, a child account can only have one 